The Everglades, over 4,000 square miles of swamps, rivers, streams, and jungles. We're heading deep into the Everglades. It's a beautiful day. We're going to Sweetwater Strand. It's over seven miles down this bumpy road till we finally get to Sweetwater Strand. We're dodging mud puddles, potholes, all kinds of obstacles. It's a pretty rough drive. This is Sweetwater Strand. There's a great egret feeding amongst the giant cypress trees. And here's a little green heron. He's patiently fishing. He's a friendly little guy. These little swamp frogs better be careful, or they'll have to become his next meal. And look who I almost stepped on when I got out of the car. These are American alligators. The Everglades are just full of them. And remember, they can run faster than you can. So don't go near them. These are American coots. They like to eat the weeds off the bottom in the shallow waters of the Everglades. They're very careful about their plumage. All birds have to keep their feathers clean and dry. There are millions of fish in the Everglades. They keep the various water birds well fed. Here's a school now. This is a female anhinga. She's a beautiful bird. She has to sit there and dry out between dives for the fish. You can find an hinga all over the Everglades. They really like to eat fish. See if you can spot the turtle in the next scene. This guy's got a fish and he's preparing dinner. I guess he likes his fish tenderized. Down the hatch. Watch the green heron get bullied out of his fishing spot.
This is a black crowned night heron. And this is a turkey buzzard. This is an American black vulture. And here we have a dove and a grackle. I found them in the underbrush. These are glossy ibis. These white ibis are feeding in a typical Everglades pool. This little green heron has just caught his lunch and he's preparing it. The birds of the Everglades literally eat tons of fish every day. It's an endless source. Now watch this patient little fisherman. He's about to make a catch. Watch closely, keep your eye on him. Here he goes now. That was very tasty. This is an immature green heron. He hasn't changed color yet. This is a great blue heron. He likes to fish too. First he has to prepare it. Now watch this crazy heron fish. He never did get anything while I was there. I get tired of waiting for him to catch a fish so I moved on. That pelican almost got whatever he was chasing though. Poor guy, he just couldn't find anything. He's really going to work for his lunch today. This is a great blue heron. The mature blue herons are beautiful birds. The great blue heron is found just about everywhere you can look in the Everglades. They have to be careful. They could be snapped up by an alligator in a second.
This is a great egret. You can tell by his yellow beak, his black legs, and his beautiful white plumage. They like to wade and eat in the shallows of the Everglades. Notice that their yellow beak is straight and not curved like that of an ibis. There are those long black legs. Watch out for that gator. And here is some little blue heron. All of these water birds eat fish and frogs and snakes and just about anything that moves that they can stir up out of this swamp lettuce. They're interesting to watch as they hunt for food. We have to protect these wetlands forever. We really don't want to lose all this beautiful wildlife. Also, there's an incredible variety of wild plants and trees in the Everglades. It's a real education just to go there. Just be careful where you walk. Much of the day is spent grooming their beautiful feathers. Grooming the feathers is necessary for all birds to survive. The feathers protect them from the weather and the wetness. Well, let's see who's next. It's a white ibis and he's feeding as usual. Here's a whole flock. The brown ones are the immature white ibis. They'll stop and eat, and they'll take their baths. It's just a typical day at the spa for them. He's really enjoying this, and it's free. They don't mind sharing their space either. These guys are getting along just fine. This is Six Mile Slough. Six Mile Slough is a great place to find wildlife. I filmed otters here and pileated woodpeckers and all kinds of birds. Here's a pileated woodpecker right now. These are very hard to film. They're very shy. They move very quickly. It's really hard work to get a decent video of a pileated woodpecker.
and he's over 16 inches tall. I just caught this otter having a snack. I believe it was an Oscar. Now they're from South America, but people have let them go in the Everglades and they have bred there by the thousands. Fishermen catch them and eat them, they're very good. If they knew they cost $100 a piece in the aquarium, they'd probably think again before they ate them. And just look at this red-shouldered hawk. Isn't he a beauty? Red-shouldered hawks can be found all over the Everglades. They're probably the most common hawk in the Everglades. I magnified this guy a little bit so you could see him better. It was pretty dark in the brush there. Here's an interesting view of him drying his wings. I haven't seen that very often. And here's our friend the stork. Many people come to the Everglades in the wintertime just to film the storks. They're a very popular bird. And they don't mind mixing in with the other birds either. As you can see in these photos. From left to right, we have the stork, a great egret, Ibis and another great eagle. Okay, now he's just showing off. Isn't he a beautiful bird? Now, who couldn't love a face like that? These are the American alligators. They're found in the Sweetwater Strand and just about any other place where there's water in Florida. You have to be careful with them. They look slow, but they're quick and they're dangerous. And they'll get you if you don't look out. This is how they sneak up on the birds. They just have their nose sticking out of the water. Even their head is submerged most of the time when they're stalking birds. You gotta watch out for them. They do have a lovely smile, but don't be fooled by that. This cute little guy is only about 14 feet long. How would you like to wrestle with him? And they look so peaceful sleeping there on their logs. These are the Florida gopher tortoise. They live in the sand along the beaches. They can't swim, so don't ever pick them up and put them in the water. 
the best thing to do is to just leave them alone. They're endangered because they're slow and it's hard for them to get away from people. So please, just leave them be. They like to eat the nice green shoots and leaves they find along the beaches. This is the Florida red-bellied turtle. You can find them just about any place that you find fresh water in Florida. Look at this guy trying to climb up on the log. He doesn't care, he's good all day. Turtles are cold-blooded and they need the sun to warm them up. That's why you see them sunning themselves on rocks and logs. Here's a monarch butterfly. They're very common in the Everglades. This is an air plant growing on the side of the tree. It has the red bloom. This is the zebra, the state butterfly for Florida. Probably the most photographed butterfly in the whole state. Beautiful. Two large cypress trees. This is an apple snail. This is a swamp lily. This is pickerel weed. I found these baby raccoons feeding and playing in a stream. I'm sure the mother was nearby. They usually are. They're a lot of fun to watch. And I usually film some every year when I go to Florida. Baby raccoons. I managed to sneak up on this young white-tailed deer. They're pretty skitterish. You notice how nervous that deer is? He keeps looking around. Very nervous. Anyway, it was great fun to sneak up on him and film him. Just look at the size of those ears. You really have to sneak up on these guys. He can hear you from a long way. That moss hanging down there blowing in the wind is called Spanish moss. It's very common in the swamps in Florida. Our little friend hears something and he's getting nervous. Oh, I think there's some tourists coming down the path. I guess it's time to go. This is Walt Barrett saying goodbye for now. I hope you enjoyed our film and thank you for watching.